Hey guys, welcome back to the long-awaited Uba Booga video. I've been postponing this for a while because I've been having a struggle to get this thing working, so it's it's definitely been a um, bit of a journey. I will say that this is difficult, so just have patience and eventually you'll get it. If you go onto the GitHub, you can actually ask a lot of questions there. There are plenty of people who are willing to answer. You just take your time. Do it slowly and you'll get through it. The first thing you're going to want to do, I'll have the links down in the description below. You're going to go to the GitHub, go right here. This is the installation for um, Uba Booga. So you're just going to go into code and you're going to go click download zip and it should show up in your folder. See, I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to jump around that. Okay, so now that I've got it right here on my desktop, I'm just going to extract it into a, another folder and open this up full page right if you guys ever get lost you can always refer to the instructions but i'm going to try and do my best to explain to you on how to do this the first thing you're going to want to do is actually go to the install.bat this will install everything that you need just click more info and run anyway and continue now this part right here it's asking whether or not you want to select your gpu or your cpu to run off of if you have a gpu you can use that or if you have a stronger CPU and just have a weaker GPU, then maybe you should consider using the CPU. But for me, I have an NVIDIA uh, GPU card. And so now it's gonna start the installation progress. This may take a while. So that seems to be the ins um, that seems to be the solution to if whether or not you your mini conda isn't working, all you're gonna have to do go into the installer files, locate the mini conda folder, delete everything that's in the mini conda folder except for the folder itself, and then and then just rerun the install that bat file and that should fix everything. And then we're gonna retry and uh, we're gonna start the web UI and see if that works. Okay, great. So now that I'm finished, all we need to do is press any key to continue. Now you wanna wait for this to come up. If this does not come up, your download's not finished. So you need to keep waiting. So just press enter and then that's it for the download portion. Next up, we're gonna start the web UI. Just click on that .bat file. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna go more info and run anyway. Okay, so this is the console for the web UI. All we're gonna do is we're gonna control and click on this URL. You're gonna get a window that pops up and it should be something similar to this. Now, this is the web UI for uh, Uba Booga. And all we're gonna do is basically think of it as like an empty shell right now. It doesn't have any sort of AI inside of it right now. It's just kind of what we're seeing. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually install a new model. So you see this function right here, download custom model or LoRa. We're going to use this right here. Got another tab right here. All you're going to do is you're going to go in the link in the description and this link should be there, but we're going to be downloading Pygmalion 6B. Uh, it's just my preference. That's the one that I've been using. Um, and you're going to see these two little squares that are overlapping. Just click that little square and you will copy the link for that. Now you're going to pop back over to text generation web UI, right click, paste it in, and then click download. You're going to notice right here that it's saying that it's starting to download the model and you will just have to wait. Okay, so now that my download has finally finished, you should see it done there. If you have any errors, they'll pop up right here. And as I mentioned before, you can just go to the GitHub and ask people over there. More often than not, they'll know what to do. Or people with common issues, you can look on those forums as well. So right now, these are the settings that I've found work for me. First thing we're going to do is we're going to load the Pygmalion AI model. So just click that in the model tab. And then we're going to go below here. We're going to go to GPU memory. And I'm just going to crank this all the way up. It's using all of my memory in my gpu rather than the memory in my computer so that i can finish recording this i've had several issues where that's happened because this sucks up a lot of memory and the next thing you're going to want to do is load in 8-bit um now the the next thing that we're going to want to do is just click load okay so going over the separate tabs we have the chat settings this is going to contain all your settings for uploading your character your character settings and so on and so forth so if we go into upload character, you can clearly see here, you can upload a character or you can upload an image for your own self in the chat. Now, moving on to parameters, you can edit the repetition penalty and you can also edit the max new tokens. What these are going to do is if your AI is repeating the same word or same sentence over and over again, you can up that penalty number and that should 
try and deter the AI from saying those same things over and over again. Now, with the max new tokens, you can set that level higher if you want the AI to maintain a longer memory about the conversation. And if you want to have the AI have longer sentences per conversation, right? Now, moving from that, moving into the text generation, now we can go into the character gallery and select example. This comes preloaded, this character, so we're just going to test it out with this. Now, moving here, you can see that these characters come preloaded typically with something similar like this. They say, hey, I'm so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. I can't actually run the program and run the AI at the same time because the, the quality of the video goes down and it starts skipping. So just for the quality of the video, I, I typed hey previously, and this was my last conversation with this chat bot, and this is this was hey the there. response. Are you ready to dive right in? So you can see that the AI is clearly working. Previously in my last video, I was using Cobalt AI and Pegmillion AI, and I also did it for mobile as well. So you can check that tutorial out too. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click that like and subscribe button for more. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.